Canto Joke um, by Flavio Canto, or at least that's the guy I copied it from. Currently my favorite joke, both in Judo and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Um, the basic form that's the easiest to start with is from this position, he's um, on his knees and I'm sitting in front of him. With my right hand, I take a grip on his lapel. With my thumb, um, a little bit above his collarbone, so that my thumb rests on his collarbone. That's the position where I want to be. My left leg crosses over against the inside of his knee. I push that out and I pull him forward. My left hand goes somewhere where I have control over him. Um, the best thing that I like to do is uh, take an underhook and grab the back of his shoulder, but barely, uh, basically everything works where you can get a good grip. I prefer this. So I push his knee away and I pull him forward. That destabilizes him, and then I can bring my, my right leg over his head, the back of my knee goes on his neck, and then from here I push my leg forward, straighten it out, and I pull my arm back, and that chokes. That's the easiest position, um, but the weakest one. It gets stronger, I use this hand. He will almost always post with it, so that I don't just, um, can, can't just smash him down. He will try to stay up because I'm pulling him down. That um, puts his hand and his arm there. And then I can hook my, my foot behind his arm, roughly at the, at the height of his elbow. And now I do the same thing. And I use his, his arm as a, as a counter um, point where I can push my leg in. So let's go uh, from the positions from here. Under the arm, here I have the lapel, over, um, I cross over with the leg, push his knee away, pull him forward, go over, and hook it. There's a third option, um, what you can do with your leg. The weakest one, as I said, is just um, straight into the, into the choke. Second one, um, I hook the, the arm he uses to post. There's a third option that I can do. Um, sometimes when I pull him forward, some people don't post with that hand. Instead, they use that leg, go forward and post with that so that I can't push them over there. And if he does that, I can use my leg, uh, my, my foot not to hook here, instead I hook there behind his knee. So I have the same start, same grip, I push him out, pull him forward, and I follow him here with my foot, try to stay in contact so that he, I can feel where it is and he doesn't run away. And now I can try to insert my foot here. And if I'm in here, that's a very strong position, he's not going to get out there. So once more. And that's the basic form for our uh, Kanto choke. There are more variations from other positions and how you can get into it from uh, the standing position. But that's for another video. Have fun with this. All right, so let's go to an example of Kanto himself. Unfortunately, it's quite hard to find um, good quality footage. At least it was hard for me. So this will have to do. Um, this is a situation right after a throw. Um, this is Kanto. His opponent is on both knees. Kanto has a grip on the lapel. And now he starts inserting his feet. And he pulls himself in. Now, again, from this perspective, hard to see. You'll see it better in a few seconds. His left foot is planted on the inside of this leg and his other leg is ready to swing over the head. Which he does now. He swings over behind the neck 
lifts up his hip to get in as far as possible. And here you can see this is his left foot, which is on the on the inside of the leg of his opponent here. Now he brings he, he turns in, brings the leg down, puts pressure on it, on his neck. His opponent steps out with his leg and tries to post on that leg. And Kanto uses that to hook into the uh, uh, the back of the knee up here. Now he's hooked in. And he just starts to push down and he straightens his leg. You can see that um, because of that it lifts his opponent's leg up. Um, now he just uses the the leg and his right arm to choke and his left arm and his left leg just move around and try to keep control of his opponent's upper body and they well they essentially move wherever he feels necessary to control so you can play around with that and see where you need to go to keep your partner under control so now he feels that his opponent might jump over so he goes over there then goes back into the leg, straightens him out. And yeah, his opponent is quite resilient against the choke, but sooner or later it's going. Now he's looking at the referee because he was um, unconscious. So once more, he starts off on the side, inserts his legs, takes a grab at the, or grip at the lapel. Now the leg goes over. He hooks into the posted leg and starts to apply the choke. While he's doing that, he's using his uh, free arm and his free leg to keep as much control over his opponent as possible and moves around where he needs. F he feels the need to control him. And sooner or later, his opponent either surrenders or, in this case, gets choked out. So yeah, that's the basic variation of the Kanto choke. Have fun with that.